Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Minecraft Let's Play video. Last time we we just had to build a little bit of a pumpkin farm and yes yeah, a bit late as I said. Wait did I build the pumpkin farm last time? I can't even remember if I'm honest. Yes I did. I did yeah yeah. I did make the pumpkin farm and then I've done I've done loads since the last episode and you can probably see a little bit in the back background there and I'll talk through what I've done because it doesn't seem like a lot but it took time like it took a hell of a long time so the first thing you probably notice is all this bamboo now I had to do a bit of resource gathering because I needed bamboo and also needed li lily pads which I've since got and so I looked around for a jungle to try and find the bamboo and I found a desert, a jungle temple with bamboo in and I also found right next, pretty much a hundred blocks away a swamp so I was like okay let's go there with an empty inventory and just get as much as I can so I got nine bamboo and about seven stacks of lily pads which is absolutely mental I didn't think I'd get that many stacks of lily pads and I also grabbed a handful of sea pickles like I grabbed like 20 something just so now this lights up at night and I'm going to add some seagrass in there probably between this episode and, and the next I just I don't have much time at the moment to sort of do that right now because I've literally got an hour to record this video and one more video and another thing I've also done is I've put li li lily pads on all of these water sources and I've also made the melon farm completely planted up the pumpkin farm as well they're all fully grown now I'm pretty sure and I put some light sources in and I added lily pads here as well so this episode I'm going to build the sugarcane farm and the cactus farm and I've made a huge head start and I've got all the sand, I had to go out and harvest all the sand then make a second trip because I didn't get enough bear in mind I used like two shovels to get the first lot so yeah I just thought if I make the, all this down I can get both these farms done at the same time and then next time I'll probably build a bamboo farm and then after that I will start doing my storage room just take a break from the farm so it also gives me a chance to plan a new furnace system for the kelp farm and also time to sort of get more ender pearls towards the end portal which will hopefully help once I get my port nether portal set up which I am going to do at some point I'll, you know I might do it next episode next episode I will set up my nether portal and I will not go through it so I will make another exploration episode where I do nothing except explore the nether I sort of just try to find a, a nether, like nether fortress and sort of places I can build in the future because it's always good to have a blaze farm so that'll probably be something I'll build first up just so I can get blaze powder and like blaze rods so I can then have some sort of fuel system although I do have the kelp farm so fuel isn't too big of a deal but if I could have obviously a source of backup fuel just in case my kelp farm doesn't produce enough which at first might seem crazy but in time it will be probably the most <laughs> efficient farm It'll definitely be the most efficient farm in this farming bit by far because I'm making it automated straight away I'm gonna add a dried kelp farm to it and it's just gonna be absolutely insanely huge like that dirt at the bottom isn't going to be the whole thing so also, actually what I'm gonna do quickly is run and get lily pads and then do the lily pads before I place the sugar cane down because otherwise it's just going to make it 10 times harder 
I actually need to run and get some, I'm pretty sure. And <laughs> if you're wondering why my levels are so low, I've died about four times between this episode, last episode and this episode. The most recent being about ten minutes ago. And what happened was I was I was AFK because I've got sort of like a few personal life things out, like some some stuffs come up, and I saw it today. I've been dealing with that, recording these videos, and I still haven't sorted that thing out because it's, it's not just going to be an overnight thing. It's gonna it's gonna take a while. Like it could take a month, could take a while. And I've also got some resources here. And where are my lily pads gone? Ah, I know where they are. Let's just grab this cactus quick. Yes, yeah, so I've been dealing with personal life stuff. Been on here, been on here, there, and everywhere basically. Like yesterday, I just took a break from it and just had to get that life sort, had to get that sorted out as well. I sort of, I, I couldn't do a. I mean, Dilsey play like a have a duck like a party on Discord where we sort of play. D and D, like we do. It, it's only like a recent thing. Like, just every Sunday for like three, four hours, we do this. I saw like a podcast, and yeah, we recorded the. We, I think we recorded. Oh, haven't found the channel for it yet, so I need to. I need to find that out because I don't actually link it. I make like videos about it, so I'll get on. I'll get on him about that. I sort of have a chat to him about it, see what we're actually going to be doing with it. And yeah, I could sort of like promote it if you like on this channel and try and get build up a viewer base on that. Then also I can use that to help this channel as well. So it's sort of like a win win for me. Like if I promote it on there, if I promote that channel on here, I can then, if that gains popularity, I can then uh, hopefully people come to my channel which would be nice that'd be a no, nice little bonus if that happened but only time will tell but I've got a bunch of sugar cane to plant and not much time to do it I have jabbered on most of this episode about you no know, stuff and that but and changing subjects very quickly which I'm good at because I was talking about my personal life stuff and I will make a video on it sort of ex explaining what on earth is going on but I don't want to yet until I've got more details because I've, well, I've got most of uh, Dilsey knows what it is like I spoke to him about it but I don't really want to talk about it on the channel yet until I'm you know, ready to because I don't want to plaster it everywhere. Because obviously things like that the thing is like with this, I don't really want to talk about it too much. Because obviously it could affect it if it's if they see my videos. And don't worry, I'm not I'm not going to demonetize or anything like that. And I uh, I never do get I never did get monetized. So if I was monetized, that'd be great. It'd be another way of earning money. And look at that, just as soon as I finished this farm, it started getting <laughs> it started getting dark as soon as I finished it. But yeah, I'm gonna make a video on it in a few weeks. I won't do it just yet. I was gonna make it for this week, that's no, released on Wednesday, but I might just delay that video. Just just until I know what's going on a bit more. And I sort of explain the full story. In detail, make like a 10 20 minute video rather than a car vlog I'll do a, a proper sit down vlog and talk about it because then I'm no, focused if you like and I need some fence gates so I need one two this is all I need and then hopefully yep there we go and I'm getting I'm getting a lot of messages I'm not going to reply to them yet because yeah, I've got this video, another video, and I've got to sort some stuff out regarding, let's call it the situation. I've got to sort stuff out to do with that. Like some of my friends, like, the people I trust the most know about it. 
and like my new job I start that for me it's tomorrow and for you guys it was last Monday so I don't know how it's going yet so <laughs> I wish I could update you but at the moment I just can't because I've got so much happening yeah I'm going to sort these torches out because I don't like that bit being a corner and being a torch next to it I'll sort it out in my own time but yeah I mean I hope I can get this thing sorted out because it is sort of I wouldn't say mentally affecting me because it's not it's a weird one basically it's 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 complicated like yeah I'll, I'll make a video on it in time explaining what the whole situation is about I might have mentioned it in a previous video I can't re remember but I don't want to sort of bring up details because otherwise yeah like, I don't want to talk about it until it's sort of nearly over to over so it might be I don't know how long that could be I could forget I'm saying it I could forget in like let's say a month when it might come round I don't know but we'll, we'll figure it out I'll figure out what I want to do but right now let's just let's hop back onto Minecraft and finish this cactus farm because I've just done the sugarcane farm and yeah I'm recording I'm recording the audio at the same time and I'm talking as if I've recorded it previously oh dear but anyway back to Minecraft and we are back which is a totally totally normal transition totally but yeah as, as you can see while I was jabbering got that sugarcane done sugarcane farm done surprisingly a lot quicker than I thought I'd get it done like I didn't think I'd get it done that quickly if I'm honest I thought it was going to take a lot longer and in time I will light up this farm like definitely I'll light up I'll light it up but because how the cactuses grow I can't just put a bit of glowstone I can't do this over here so I have to put the actual lighting in the floor oh I'll get round to it who is messaging me I've got so many messages it's unbelievable that I before I making this video I, I was writing to some people on a group chat about the situation I work with, I used to work with these people and I they're like my family so I trust them I'll I'll take their advice and they advise me to do some stuff and I'm just like okay I'll do it in my own time because yeah I don't want to do too much but I'm talking about it again god damn it and anyone who's a religious I apologize for that comment but yeah hopefully it all gets sorted out soon and I can carry on making videos and I'm making it sound ah ah are ah, you numpty but it isn't it's it I'm not gonna give any clues about it away I'm gonna keep it a surprise but uh, there we go we've just done it and I've locked myself out of the I've lo closed myself out of the farms I was going to say locked myself out but I hadn't locked myself out and animal right activists please look away now because I'm about to kill this this wandering villager and you made me destroy my wheat how very rude now let's just I'll fix this quickly I'll fix this I've got no, oh, I've got some stone here. Let's. Oh no. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Just make myself a stone hoe so I can't be bothered to walk all the way back to my house for a bloomin' hoe. 
And there we are, threw that single seed away, don't need it. But there we are, we've got we've got two more of the farms done. And that's literally just how easy it is. I mean and the next and in the next episode what I will do in between this one and the next I'll dig all this out I'll put all the decorative bits in also like all the actually no I won't put the ground in because then because the, yeah the only reason why I put the sand in was because I did not know how long it would take me and it did take me like 10 15 minutes to do the floor in this one so I knew that if I'd done this I then have to spend another episode doing that cactus farm which I know that one will take me about two minutes to do like once I've got the grass the sand down it wouldn't take me long which it took me about two minutes whereas this one took a bit longer you know it took about maybe five six minutes and it's I mean yeah I mean we've got that working now we've got all this operational we've got some fully grown over there already and cactus wise we've got some growing and the best thing about the cactus farm is I will rarely need to harvest this I really don't need to harvest it when I need the green dye but I'll probably do it like once a week once I've got my storage room up and running once a week I'll harvest this it'll probably take about 20 minutes to harvest but I mean I think that's better than just just leaving it and then when I need it harvest it because I might not have enough so by doing it every week especially like the the wheat the carrot the potatoes I've got a constant food supply so all I've got to do is make this into bread make this into baked potatoes and I've got food that will last me a long time and I'll see melons and pumpkins that would be good for I'll see pumpkins like jack-o-lanterns and then melons for glistener, glistering melons the, the fancy melons let's call them <laughs> and then sugar cane for fireworks when I get the elytra which I'm hoping to do once I get all my base and that sorted out but I don't want to do that and then I don't want to put too many things like project wise at once like I don't even know where the stronghold is I've got an ender pearl but I've not made it into an eye vendor yet so what I want to do is build everything I need like I need still need like, a, like furnaces and stuff like that I might make I might redesign my furnace system because I want it so it's all automated but I don't have the resources I'd need a hell of a lot of iron so if I just make it like a smaller system I mean like an auto smelt of like four or five furnaces per system it'll be still automated but just cheaper and it'll be easier to manage as well with fuel and there's no point using like a 32 stack furnace system when I hardly ever use it because most of the furnaces will be used for kelp and since I'm building an auto smelter built into this thing most of the fuel we put into back into this system so anything that I don't need I'll take as so well put in these in these systems to anything left over after that will be what I can use to build with if that makes sense but anyway this video has gone on for quite a while so I'm going to end it here I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a big thumbs up and I'll see you all next time see ya